All right, Bam Bang, today is Thursday, March 19th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. This is Eddie. I have two guests today. My first one, he's been on before. You know Jeff D. Lowe. He is the movie guy here at Barstool. Doing good? This is great. Yeah, it's good, good I mean, to have you back. We're talking about my real favorite thing today. Yeah, we. this is, this is a big one. And then my other guest here is Nick. Nick is a new hire. Nick, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank, thank you for hey, having hey, me. Hey, we're shaking hands. Well, you could see that actually. We will be on video tonight. And yes, it's midst of the corona. So uh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, today, like Jeff said, uh, we are talking about chain restaurants. Yeah. You know, Mark's Madness is dead. The basketball version is over. They canceled it. But we got a little bracket here made by Jeff. 64 restaurants? 64 restaurants. I'll give you the file, too. You can post it on the site. Underneath the, underneath the radio, the podcast Perfect. itself. Who's Perfect. your producer? I I don't have a producer. I have a video guy who helps me do everything. But as far as producing all the content, it is me. Okay, yeah, we'll, just, we'll pop it up right here. There we go. There we go. We'll <laughs> pop it up right here. And 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 uh, Jeff, you are the producer basically of this one. I mean, technically. Yeah, I set you I mean, up. Yeah, <laughs> you're if, you're, if you're watching a video, I put the logo behind. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. uh-huh. listening? For sure. The Dog Walk logo is plastered behind Eddie right now. It is. It looks nice. So you're going to be able to watch it on – I'm going to post on the site at, uh, tonight, too, and tomorrow night as well. So what do you want – how do you want to break this down? You just want to go – Romo it down. Do we want to each have our own bracket? Do we want to do majority rules so two out of three moves on? Or what do you think like is the that. best way? I like two that. Two out of three moves on? Yeah. It'll be the ultimate this undisputed bracket for this Dog Walk. I agree. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Uh, one verse 16 in the upper left quadrant. Uh, the one seed is Chili's versus 16 seed Dick's Last Resort. Jeff. Uh, Dick's Last Resort. Funny hats. They look like condoms. Sure. They usually write like something like my grandmother has big breasts or something on the hat. Hell yeah. Uh, that's about <laughs> the extent of, of Dick. There's a Dick's in Chicago, I know. There is. There's or, a, there, there might was? be. There's one like off the river that's really nice, yeah. actually. Under those apartments that are like circular. Yes. Yes, there's there's one over there. Chicago knowledge. So I have very thin skin. Okay. And uh, metaphorically. Okay. It's not like a medical thing. Oh, sorry. Okay. And uh, I can't handle going to Dick's Last Resort. Because they they rip on you. You can look at me for a half a second and pick out my biggest insecurities. It's my weak chin. So I I take it you're not going to advance them. I will not be. Okay. Chili's as well. I don't like chicken crispers. I think they're overrated at Chili's. The weird breading. So you're not advancing chilies? No, I'm advancing chilies, but mildly reluctantly. Okay, yes. This is pretty a pretty easy one for me. Yeah. Never even been to Dick, so I'm going to go with chilies as well. Okay. Chilies, clean sweep, advances on to the second easy. round. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the next one. And eight versus nine, eight Joe's Crab Shack versus nine CeCe's Pizza Buffet. Nick, we'll start with you. Sure. Um, so I think crab, overrated. It's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. I want instant satisfaction. CeCe's can bring that to me. That's a um, fact. I don't know if anybody takes advantage of the pasta or salad there, but I do like the fact that you can order a custom pizza at CeCe's, and they'll shout out whatever you name it oh. when they make it. And so I, my custom pizza was called Boy with a Crooked Spine, oh. and they would shout that out across the restaurant. It's a nice wrinkle. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. Jeff? Yeah, I have to go CeCe's. They have a dessert pizza. That's like... I forget it was like it was like Oreo or something. It was some sort of like Oreo cream pizza. Sounds terrible as I explain it, but it, it was good for CC's a great place for a poor high school student. CC's dessert in general is pretty good. They got the cinnamon rolls and the oh, brownies. The cinnamon rolls That's are good. Right, yes. right, right. It's an easy one for me. It sounds like for everyone else, CC's and a little bit of an upset, the nine over the eight. Right? A little bit of an upset. Clean sweep? Clean sweep. It might have been, like, Vegas odds, CeCe's might have been the favorite. Yes, probably. No offense to Joe's Crab Shack. Probably. we got a 5 versus 12 now. 5, California Pizza Kitchen versus number 12, Fud Ruckers. Jeff, have, we'll start with has, you. Have either of you been to Fud Ruckers? I have. I've been to one. Fud Ruckers is, is like, a, it's like a dinosaur, basically. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a dying breed. Uh, I, I think this, is prob- this could be the weakest 12 seed I've ever seen in a tournament. People no love to it, fun. though. I people, do love Fud Ruckers. Really? Okay. But I Fudd think Rutgers. for nostalgia's sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, the lo- big blue logo with the exploding letters. Uh, they have, like, they have crazy vintage stuff on the walls. Mm-hmm. You know what's a nice wrinkle about Fud Ruckers? They have the raw patty in front of you on the counter when you walk in. <laughs> right. It's yes. all flair, no substance. Yeah. I don't love it either. I, I, I should clarify that. But I think I like it better than California Pizza Kitchen. Whoa. 
So I'm going to go with the 12-5 upset here, folks. Oh, I, I got to go CPK, but I'm a little worried about the California Pizza Kitchen right now. There we go, the tiebreaker. So there's a lot of power in my hands right yes, now. Yes, a lot. Um, the curvy spine. So California Pizza Kitchen, I've been to a few, and in all of them, I think that they're not well ventilated. It's always oh. smoky. It bothers my eyeballs. Oh. But Fuddruckers just isn't good. <laughs> so I will go with California Pizza Kitchen, but I don't see her going too much further. All right, our first fight. They actually did a logo change recently. Did they? I just tried to pull up the menu, which I, I couldn't. And now uh, it's a different logo, not as flashy. They're not yellow anymore? No, that's black and red. Up. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, do you take your... That, I, I don't like that at all, <laughs> you take either. the pick back? I hate change. Yeah, that's terrible. It's like when the Cavs, like... There's no orange and blue anymore. Yeah, you know? no. It's like, mm-hmm. that's tough. How do you remove the nostalgia? Like, that's why people are going. That's because, why they go. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. tough. Okay, we'll move on. Four versus 13, four yard house versus 13 Quaker steak. Nick, we'll start with you. So, I'm a big wing guy. Um, I don't, I'm not a big decor guy, though. I don't care. I, I don't care if you have a car hanging from the ceiling. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's an engineering marvel. But... Getting a Twizzler over a mint at the end of your meal yeah. makes it all worth it. So I'm going Quaker Steak. Full disclosure, never had either. Oh, oh I'm really? A, I'm a free agent here. You guys got to Yard House is actually opening up in New York. Yard House has the largest like on-tap beer selection mm-hmm. in the country or something like that. So if you like beer, Yard House is good. I like Yard House's food, but I don't know. that You might have convinced me because of the uniqueness of the individually wrapped Twizzler. They give you a Twizzler at the end yeah, of the meal? Yeah, that's right, Comes along with your wet nap. Yeah. It is comes... it called Quaker Steak and Lube? Yes. Yes. Okay, I've seen one. There's one in like the like 45 minutes from Chicago. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. What's it's... the challenge? The Atomic Wing? What do they call the, it? The Atomic Wing Challenge. I think that if you eat three, you're guaranteed to shit blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the 13 over the four. I, and I really like Yard House. I really like Yard House. Yeah. But, man, yeah, I have to go Quaker Steak. The upset rolls. Does anybody have a pen to mark these? I, I'm keeping them. I'm logging them on my phone. There All right, we go. there we go. You can always count on Jeff to do the log. Yeah, he's, a, he's a logistics when guy. I, when I go on lights, camera, bar stool, he's writing, always writing something. Right? Yeah, I'm just logging. Yes. Analytics. Stuff. Yeah. Sabermetrics. He's yeah. always good on that. Mm-hmm. Um, let's move on to six versus 11. Red Lobster versus Golden Corral. Red Lobster's a favorite. Let six. me note, this this bracket, for the most part, was voted on by the Lights, Camera, Barstool audience like two years ago. Mm-hmm. We never made a bracket out of this. And Golden Corral was fairly high up the list. I had to move it down a bit because it just uh, – Golden Corral – like, no offense to the, the chocolate fountain, uh, which is cool. I think Jeff Foxworthy at one point was a spokesman. That would make a Ooh. lot of sense. It was him or Bill Ingvall. <clears throat> okay. I, yeah. Here's your chocolate fountain. Uh, I don't know, but – I, Red Lobster, the, bis- the if you just said the biscuits versus everything else, the bi- the Cheddar Bay biscuits win. I agree, but I'm worried where Nick's going to go here. Okay, so here we go. Golden Corral, buffets kind of weird me out. I like CC's. They have a really large, thick sneeze guard. Golden Corral, a little weak. Red Lobster banks too much on their biscuits, like you said. And I don't like being surrounded by the living animal I'm about to consume. Oh, you don't that like That fills me thing. with guilt. But I'm looking further in the bracket here, and I think it would be a Final Four matchup. No, it would be a uh, – we'll, we'll figure it out. I'd like to call it the Battle of the Crimson Beasts, and I would love to see Red Robin versus Red Lobster. Oh, <laughs> so it, because of that, we're going Red Lobster. Okay, okay. I, I agree. I would like – Red Lobster as well, but the, what do you do when there's like a wait and they got they stick you in the last seat in the corner and you got to sit next to the, the the lobster tank? You got to stare at them. Yeah, that, that, those are the days I'm ordering a Caesar salad. <laughs> yeah, those are tough days. Corral for those who ever visit Florida and the I believe the West Palm Beach area, uh, or uh, by, like a, by a, like an outlet mall called like Viera. I believe there is like the test kitchen for Golden Corral, where it's apparently like really high end Golden Corral food. Ooh. That's a rumor from my grandmother. Uh, they don't go often, but Pretty interesting. apparently in, in in central eastern Florida, great Golden Corral. Okay, okay. I will I will check Should that out. you over there. Yeah. So Red Lobster moves on. Let's go to three versus fourteen Flemings, the three seed versus the fourteen seed Perkins. Wait, is this a, a three versus? That's actually a six eleven. That's a six eleven. No, that's a six. I wrote it down wrong on your bracket. But yeah, six eleven Flemings. I don't know much about Perkins. I've had Perkins one time. I know a lot of people like Perkins. Flemings is. Very Fleming's almost didn't make the bracket. It's almost too high end, along with Capitol Grill and Season Fifty Two. But Fleming's is just 
it, it's it's high end food. I have to move it on just because you got to be a snob a little bit. For the sake of transparency, I've never been to Fle- Fleming's nor have heard of it. And, I'm in the same boat. Uh, oh. Perkins in West Virginia, everybody calls it Pukins, which <laughs> pisses me off. It pisses me off because it's not clever, and I don't mind it. They have a killer eggs Benny. I'm a sucker for Hollandaise, so I'm going to go Perkins here. You know what? Big upset. I'm going Perkins as well. Wow. Okay. Sorry, Fleming. Just because Fleming's like, if two guys haven't heard of it on the pot, like it's, that's that's it's, how it works. It's not a very appetizing name. Yeah, and uh, we're moving right over to another couple place I never heard uh, heard of. Uh, number seven versus ten, uh, Chewies versus Papa Do. Yeah, Papa Do. Papa yeah. Do. Uh, I've I've seen one Papa Do in my life, and I believe it's in the Atlanta airport, Hartsfield Jackson. Uh, okay. But I know people like it a lot. I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, Chewy's has now made its way to like Virginia area. It's in Ohio. It You've is. seen a Chewy's? Yeah. I have seen a Chewy's. It's not great outside of Austin, but it's an Austin staple. Uh, okay. And being an Austin guy for the last, now the majority of my life, uh, Chewy's is top three chain restaurant for me. So I'm going to move it on because it's great Tex-Mex. Okay. And any place that has a big stone flour tortilla wheel where they're making fresh tortillas minute by minute. And they have a dip I called, like that. They have a dip like called a creamy lot. jalapeno dip. It's like a jalapeno ranch dip. Ugh. The flour tortilla is fresh. They make more of a difference than almost any food like item. Sure. I could see that. That was my pitch. If you want to start a restaurant, make sure it's able to be pronounced by the majority of the people. And I take offense to Papa Do. It's, it's, it's issuing a challenge to the reader. I Get off your – am I allowed to swear on this program? Yeah, absolutely. Get off your freaking high horse – Dick holes. Okay, so Cho- Chewy's moves on. Hell yeah. Okay. I was surprised. I didn't think Chewy's would last. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Chewy's just... You should, actually, there are some near Chicago. Is there? Yeah, it's made its way to the north to the Midwest. It's worth checking out. Yeah. Is it? All right, I'm going to check out a Chewy. Uh, we got the 2 versus 15, the last matchup of this quadrant. We have number 2, P.F. Chang's, versus number 15, Luby's. Uh, Luby's, uh, if you want to ruin your night, look up, uh, there's a, a incident at a Luby's in Colleen, Texas. It's incredibly morbid. Uh, it's no, I mean like very not funny and oh. very, uh, very, very bad. Oh. So if you look up Luby's, just know that you're going to get that story when you Google it. But Luby's is like, it's like a cafeteria basically. It's a Texas staple. Uh, it, it stands no chance against P.F. Chang's and their, their lettuce wraps, which are actually opening a, a P.F. Chang's to go, only to go in New York. Really? Yeah, you can't sit down. You only get to go. Their lettuce wraps are delicious. Interesting. Nick? So I've never been to Luby's, but I am a huge cafeteria guy. Mm -hmm. I like having options. I like being spontaneous, and I think it grants me that freedom. But P.F. Chang's too heavy of a hitter. Yeah, way too heavy of a hitter. Luby's a great name. Yes. Luby. Like, that's a good name. So we'll – but obviously – Majority rules you anyways, but it. I'm going with P.F. Chang's. I feel like we should finish out this, get to the final four, because yeah. people know what we're talking about. So we'll go second round. Okay. Okay, so we'll go Chili's versus CeCe's yeah. to advance to the Sweet 16. Yeah, it, it's got to be Chili's, right? I'm going CeCe's as a, oh. as a poor man uh, who likes pizza. For me, I'm going to stack dessert against dessert, and it comes oh. down to the dessert of CeCe's, which is good. But something about adding sprinkles on top of your milkshake that just separates you. Uh, and, and, and Chili's is just, it's an American classic. I'm glad you say sprinkles and not Jimmy's. Never understood that. You a Jimmy's guy? No, I never heard of that. Oh, it's yeah. Philadelphia. Oh. Is it a Philadelphia? Jersey, sometimes, okay. sometimes, is it? Sometimes, like Rhode Island. So, Chili CC's, here's my thing. I don't blame you for going CC's, but to me, CC's is twice a year. Okay. I don't think I could do it more than twice. It's just too much. Yeah. So, I'm going to go Chili's. Chili's advanced to the Sweet 16. Okay. Moving on, we have California Pizza Kitchen versus... Quaker steak. Quaker steak and lube. I mean, again, this is one where Qua- – no, 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 no. I'm, I'm voting Quaker steak and lube. I was going to rationalize Ooh. and try to vote on behalf of the country. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the barbecue chicken pizza, actually. So if I was a fan of their, their staple barbecue chicken pizza, maybe I would advance CPK. But Quaker steak, again, they just do wings well. I know people – like, have you heard people say, like, it's hard to fuck up wings – like, I actually think it's fairly easy to make bad wings. I hate people who say that in general. Yeah. You could fuck up pretty much everything. Yeah, <laughs> really I can. I fuck up a lot of things that people <laughs> would not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going Quaker steak. It's, it's deli- it's, they're delicious wings. They're good fries. Okay. Quaker steak's downfall will be their price point. But 
the beer towers they have, yeah, along with their wings, the the amount of sauces they serve, I'm doing it. Quaker steak. Quaker steak and lube advances. I haven't had either. Well, I had California Pizza Kitchen a long time ago, but I'm I'm fine with that. Quaker steak. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, second round, Red Lobster versus Perkins. Uh, I the endless shrimp uh, is is a great promotion. I don't have Red Lobster often, but I like a sh- I like a great shrimp promotion. A great uh, we we call them in the food business as someone who doesn't work in the food business an LTO a limited time offering, uh, and the in the, the the promotion of the endless shrimp is it's too much to pass up here. I've never had shrimp. It oh. weirds me oh. out. They look like human pinkies to me, and I don't That's like that. Like a baby? Well, just like look, look at that. Yeah, true, but I don't think a pinky's curled. Well, it looks like a curled human pinky. Maybe your pinky. W- look, actually, my pinky is curled. You, if, if you're listening, you can't see it, but I broke my pinky playing pickup basketball. So oh, I'm not really? sure of what shrimp would even taste like. I don't know its consistency. It seems like it would be tough. So I take you're going with pukins. I am, but I don't think. I will be in the majority there. No, I'm going to go Red Lobster as well, and I think basically it's up to Jeff and I to defend us to the death because I don't think you're ever going to let Red Lobster move on. I am because I want them to face off against Red Lobster. Oh, that's true. true. That's right. That's right. You do want (laughs) (laughs) them. Crimson Dawn. Uh, Last second round matchup, we have Chewy's versus P.F. Chang's. I mean, I'm going to vote Chewy's knowing it's going to lose here. I just assume it's going to lose. I'm happy that Chewy's is going to lose to – a great establishment, though. Chang's is a, a blue blood. Yeah. You know, they are they got an easy waltz here, I'd say, to the Elite Eight. Yep, I'm there with two with Chang's. It, it, it's um, high-end slob. That's what you can look like in, in a P.F. Chang's mm-hmm. because it, it, it's a high-end place, and you can look like the worst human ever, and you still fit in. Most yeah. P.F. Chang's I've been to are in outlet malls. And so you're seeing some happy men coming out of the Tommy Bahama outlet. Yes. Yeah. Just getting ready to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're great. Nick, could have said that better myself. Thank you. Uh, Sweet 16, Chili's versus Quaker Steak and Lube. I, I'm going to have to. Oh, man, this is tough. You want me to go first? I'm going to let you go first. This is, yeah, this is tough. I'm a Quaker Steak defender. I love it. It appeases my palate. But Chili's is when you ask somebody to close their eyes and think of a chain, I think that's one of the top three. That's a staple. I'm tossing my vote to Chili's. I agree. Chili's as well. Chili's advances to the Elite Eight. Beautiful story with Quaker Steak. But again, those chicken crispers, chicken crispers, the skin, the coating, it's not good. I don't don't get it. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. But there's other items that you prefer. It's true, yes. Okay, then we have Red Lobster versus P.F. Shanks. Big matchup of the Sweet 16. This is big, and I'm afraid. I, so you're obviously going, well, wait, you don't know if you're going for the, the color matchup or are you going for the, what you like? Imagine a clash between Red Robin and Red Lobster. It would be, I mean, I'll tell you what, they'll be talking about this on the news tomorrow. An, an instant they classic. Yeah. They will. They're going to say tournament's over. Who cares? But I think P.F. Chang's is too high of a hurdle. Yeah, I, I think. How, how about this? I'm going to go with Red Lobster. Oh, fuck. Because I'm going to put it on Jeff D's shoulders right now. Because, you know what I don't like about P.F. Chang's? I don't like the price point. I think it's a little too pricey. You know what? That convinced me. That convinced me. That did it. Just because. Isn't it though? You know what? There, there's a and again, that's why I didn't like putting Flemings in here, Capital Grill, because yeah, they're chains and their own. Like I think Capital Grill is owned by Bloomin Brands, the same brand that own either Flemings or Capital Grill. I should know that. It's a shame on me. But the company that owns Outback. So like technically, that's it's, low class enough to be in here. Mm-hmm. But no, I, I Red Lobster's price point wins it for me. Yeah. Fellas, I'm ashamed for following my palate over my heart. Yeah, you, I mean, hey, what are you going to do? Elite Eight for this quadrant to go to the Final Four, the coveted Final Four, Chili's versus Red Lobster. A one versus a six. Well, why don't you start, Eddie? Man, this is a tough one because, you know, it, it, here's where your brain gets going. It's like you don't want all number one seeds. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you want to, like, mix it up a little bit. It's number one for a reason. Yes, it is number one for a reason. I'm going to have to stick with Chili's. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I, 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 I know Nick wants the red matchup, but Chili's is the number one overall seed. Chili's would win in any vote. Uh, I don't know if it's going to win the whole thing, but Chili's would win this bracket. It, the Chili goes to the final four. Yeah, it's got to right. be Chili's. Chili's to the final four. We will move down to the lower left quadrant, number one versus number 16. Capital Grill versus Bubba Gump Shrimp. 
I mean, put Nick on the board for Capital Grill, I imagine, just because Bubba Gump has well, seafood. I've never even heard of Capital Grill, <laughs> and it is a one seed. It's very high end. Well, that <laughs> okay. It's as high end as it gets to be considered in this in this type of chain restaurant category. And and Bubba Gump Shrimp seems to be pandering to the large Forrest Gump crowd, Gumpers as they're called. Yes. And I don't like that. I don't like pandering. No, no Gumpers for you. Um. So let's go. Let's go Capital Grill, even though they will not let me in the door. Okay, Capital Grill one. Yeah, Capital Grill. I'm gonna go Capital Grill two. Great Lobster. Oh, they do. Yes, they do. Let's go eight versus nine. Carabas. Versus Bertucci's. This sounds like two Italian crime families, <laughs> and I've never heard of either. Never heard of either. Here you go. I'm going to convince you both right now. Okay. Well, no, I've already decided. <laughs> okay. Bertucci's. Perfect, because Bertucci's, I don't know if they still do it. Haven't been in a long time. Bertu- you know what's not on here? I just realized that didn't get voted in. Pizzeria Uno. Oh, okay. Is that a f- is, do you care as a Chicago? No, 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 because it's not like a big, like the original and duo is like a big thing downtown. But besides that, no, there's like okay, perfect. Uno is not a big deal. Good, I don't feel bad now. Bertucci's offers you before a meal a, a ball of dough to play with Ooh. instead of like crayons. All right, a ball of oh, that's cool. Like a ball of pizza dough. That's nice. I that's like that. Easy, like not this, not even this isn't this is not a matchup. Okay, this is one of those right. eight nines where you're like that nine has no business being in the big dance. Bertucci's in this case, the eight. moves on. Now next we have TGI Fridays versus Bob Evans. This is a battle in, in my heart right now. Battle? And I, I know what I got. I love Bob Evans. I think their dinner rolls are fantastic, soft, and warm. But God damn it, do I want to see TGI Fridays up against Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, did, the big rivalry there? That's or what's a big your, uh, rivalry. Okay. I, yeah, I mean, it, I think Fridays out of the big four, Applebee's, Ruby Tuesday, Chili's, TGI Fridays, I think TGI Fridays is the best one out of all four of them. I think it's the worst one. Really? Yes, I do. Whoa. Wow. I do. Okay. Thank I God I'm in between one. you two. Wow. Yes, I mean, because is... the tension here is palpable. Name those again. Sorry. Fridays, Tuesdays, Applebee's, Chili's. I'll give you maybe Tuesdays and Applebee's, but I don't think, no way. It's I, they're Mott's like squares. <laughs> but once they started giving them away for like eight ninety nine, all like all you can eat, they – they went a little downhill. Yeah, so I, I think downhill? Fridays, I don't know, man. Fridays has a, has a small uptick in quality over the rest of them. This matchup's easy. I like Bob Evans, but when I think Bob Evans, I just I, – How are you going to say it's I've better than twice. all those, and then you're going to pass it by Bob Evans? You're going to pick Bob Evans. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I, I, I like Bob Evans, but Fridays, Fridays. Good. Bob Evans, too low of a seed. Are you going Bob Evans or Fridays? Man? i got to go Fridays. You, you, think, you think Bob Evans got snubbed by the committee I, yeah. tw- as a 12? Yeah, that's fair. All right, Friday's moves on. Next, we have four versus 13. We have Seasons 52 versus Buca de Beppo. Seasons 52 is – it's very good. That's another high-end one. I don't know where the most the, – the, the closest one is. It, it, I know they're, like, they're known for their, their wine. They have, like, fresh grill stuff, so a lot of fish. But let me tell you something about – you ever been to Buca de Beppo? Oh, yeah. I, I never have, but I've heard of it. And Buca de Beppo is the most fascinating – of all of these restaurants, they got t- a table with the big bust of the Pope. Hmm. Uh, Which one? All of them have the Pope. There's the well, well, what Pope? Uh, JPJ? I think it's JPJ. Okay. Oh. Uh, so they have the Pope table. They have crazy shit going on in there. Uh, Tablecloths, they're vintage. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know, folks, if you're listening right now, you, you, got, you got multitasking on the iPhone or whatever Android you're on. Look up Buca de Beppo Sofia Vergara. It's a family. It's family style food, so you get massive portions. There's a picture of her with six bowls, massive bowls of meatballs. Wow! And it's one of my favorite pictures on the internet. Uh, that alone gets Buca de Beppo the 13 over the four for me. Quantity is important for me. Okay. Um, I like to eat, but I also like to feel like I'm spending the appropriate amount of money. Buca de Beppo is priced well, and you get a lot. So I'm going with the upset. I'm fine with that too. Like I never had either, so it works for me. Next, we have Buffalo Wild Wings versus Twin Peaks. <laughs> this is this is a wings matchup. This is the way. This is like when I know uh, back when I went to Penn State. Temple played Penn State in the first round. Like it's like a pencil. This is a wings matchup. Uh, I I look Twin Peaks. I know people who like Twin Peaks. Be like, what the hell? Twin Peaks is superior food. But Buffalo Wild Wings is, is that's an American establishment. 
I'm going to go the opposite. Never even heard of Twin Peaks, but I hate Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> they are so overpriced. We had awful service there. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings service. can shit in their hands and clap because they they need out of here. I'll be honest with you too. Like I'm not a big like if I, if it's good food, I don't mind paying for it. But this is the second place where I have a problem with their price point behind P.F. Chang's. So it's expensive. way overpriced. Okay. And I'm very very tempted to go Twin Peaks, but the food's decent. I'll give it a pass enough to get past Twin Peaks. That's okay. I don't, I don't see it making passes. a run. Next, we have Maggiano's versus Red Robin. This is an 11 seed that has a chance to go to the Final Four in my eye. Really? If I were to determine this, Red Robin, I love. Now, recently, I did have a milkshake at Red Robin's that came with some sort of like, like donut stick in the milkshake. That was bad. Focus less on the donut stick. Stick to what you know, and that's the unlimited French fries. Uh, one of our, our employees here, Stephen Che, the legend, he famously gets unlimited steamed broccoli. Uh, <laughs> he does. He says can't miss. Uh, the un- I love their burgers. I think they have, for, for what the restaurant is, I like their burgers. And I, it's unlimited French fries. Th- that's, that's it. That's, that's a lot that's, of French fries. That's all I need to say. I love Maggiano's. A lot, oh. of, a lot of Italian. I love Maggiano's. In this side of the bracket. This is, this, this is the other one. The when Italian Maggiano's region. is on, they're on. I like that Red Robin is no nonsense. Their tagline is just yum. And I respect <laughs> that. Cut and dry. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going Red Robin. All right, Red Robin wins. I mean, I would have gone Maggiano's, but I don't hate Red Robin, so it is what it is. Sometimes you're overruled. Uh, moving on, 7 versus 10. Cheddar versus Ruby Tuesdays. You guys have had Cheddar's before? Cheddar's is incredible. Cheddar's is very good. I don't think I've had Cheddar's. This is a bad seating. Really? It's a bad seating. It, Cheddar's is so cheap. Because they don't advertise. It's all <laughs> word don't. of mouth. Really? And so you can get a full meal. I get lemon pepper chicken, broccoli, mashed potatoes, a beer, and I'll pay like $11. That's a deal. It's a deal. Their appetizers are some of the best in the game. Their, their menu density rivals Cheesecake Factory. Oh, it does. But and is that a good thing? Well, I ha- they haven't missed for me. But it's a big menu. It's like you're reading uh, th- the third Harry Potter book when you're okay. flipping through that. They have this fried Monte Cristo appetizer. They have this onion ring tower that's amazing. Their s- spinach dip, which I think is like the Phoenix spinach dip. Let me. Look. Their flavored sweet tea. Santa Fe. You can get any dip. fruit flavored sweet tea. Ooh. I go with mango. You know, I have no opinion on either. Really, uh, Ruby Tuesdays used to be in Chicago. I don't think they're there anymore. I'm fine with Cheddar's moving on. Does it sound like Cheddar's moving on? It's a shame. Because we almost had Tuesdays versus Fridays. Almost. <laughs> yes. Almost. That was a ways away, but yeah, well, it was potential. Moving on, two versus 15, last matchup of the first round. Olive Garden versus Beef O'Brady's. I'm bothered by the fact that Beef O'Brady's puts the apostrophe before and after the O. I was just going to say, too many apostrophes <laughs> in this. Uh, the name of this restaurant. It's just, I, I'm not an Olive Garden guy. I know, and that's not a snobby thing. Like, I, just, I just don't like Olive Garden that much. I'll go Same. get a nice... Hot bowl of minestrone, but that's the extent. But I'm I'm going to go Olive Garden. I'm going to go Olive Garden. The, I their breadsticks are fine. I actually think their salad dressing is the best thing that they have. Ooh, they, I'm going to go Beef O'Brady's just because they already won. Yeah, that's and I want to skip the vote, and I hate Olive Garden. <laughs> that's so I'm fair. Gonna, no, no, I don't but, see it going too much further. That's it's a, fair. It's a burn vote. All right, move second round here. Capital Grill versus Bertucci's. I mean, Bertu- Capital Grill is very good food. <laughs> yeah, but do they give you a ball of dough? <laughs> They don't, they don't, but I, I, I will say I've heard rumors that they removed that. Well, uh, it's uh, probably a health thing. <laughs> it's yeah. Def- yeah. I ain't giving them out right now. I can promise you that. I, I will just be a tie break if need be because I've never been to either. I'll go to Capitol Grill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Capitol Grill. cool. Capitol Next we have TGI Fridays versus Buca de Beppo. So I don't know where you're sitting, Eddie, because you said you liked it the least – out of the big four. But I've never had Book of Beppo, so this is one thing I'll lean on you guys a little bit The here. Sofia Vergara picture can only take your team so far. It can. It can only take your team so far. I got to go Fridays. I'm going Fridays. All Thank right. God. Fridays advances. Next we have Buffalo Wild Wings versus Red Robin. You already know my vote. So Red Robin? Does Buffalo Wild Wings offer unlimited fries? No. I'm going Red Robin. I hate Buffalo Red Robin. Wild Wings. Let's go. Buffalo That's, Wild Wings. Yes. Take a fucking seat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Next, we have Cheddar versus Olive Garden. I, I, Cheddar's is is just I, Cheddar's is very good. 
here's what I like about cheddars. They also have aquariums in their restaurants, but you can't eat the fish. Oh. They're exotic. They're tropical. There we go. And I like that. There, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, you know, it's good ambiance. It's a pet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the, you know what? The, yeah, the, the handcrafted lemonades and the iced teas, that, that's a two seed going down. I'm sorry, Olive Garden. If you, if you ever have a chance to have a frozen marg at a Cheddar's, by all means. By all means. I'm sorry, Olive. Like, I'm sorry. I know, like I said, I'll go with the people on Chili's. I'm not going with the people on Olive Garden. All right. Uh, Cheddar's moves on. We are going to the Sweet 16, where Capitol Grill faces off against TGI Fridays. This again. This is tough. I I just think for that's nah, Capital Grill. I gotta go Capital Grill. Nick, any strong opinions? Uh, I like TGI Fridays, and I've never been to Capital Grill. Okay, I gotta I, go Capital Grill all right. too. Okay. Uh, Sweet Sixteen, the second matchup. We have Red Robin versus Cheddar's. I'll let Nick start because I think this is tough because I know the unlimited fries is a big thing, but Cheddar's. I actually now want Cheddar's. Like I, I there's none in the area either. I have. Never had a bad meal with Cheddar's, and it's the only restaurant where I explore the menu. I, I walk in there, and, you know, I don't get the regular. There is no regular. Okay. Yeah. And it's beautiful, it's freeing, and it feels good. Okay. So you're going Cheddar's. I'm going with Cheddar's. Um, what are you doing? You go first. I'm going Cheddar's. I hate that yeah. you even had Cheddar's. It's all right, though. I, I, I respect you guys. Do you not like – are you out on Red Robin enough where you're like, that's not a big deal? I don't. I, I like Red Robin a fair amount, so I don't really care. Okay. Like you bought, like if I yeah, I would have been a little bit more passionate if I cared more about Red Robin. But Cheddar's moves on, so now we have our Elite Eight to go to the Final Four. We have Capital Grill versus Cheddar's. I mean, I, I think this comes to price. This comes down to price, and I love Capital Grill and a steak, lobster. I mean, you can get some great stuff here, but look, we're looking at chains. And you can get a get a great steak at home. Can you get an onion onion ring tower at home? You can. Can you get are you get a fresh brew lemonade at home? I don't have unbelievable the means. a seven seed cheddar is making it to the. I, just, it, I, 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 don't, I can't believe it. I'm I would fine with it though. Capital Grill is a little too fancy to be in our. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Food. I got I got chirped by by Deke Zucker, famous barstool quotes on Twitter. Sure. It's about how I didn't include Capital Grill in my fat my chain restaurant rankings. I'm like what? Capital Grill is like too. I like Capital Grill, but I mean, I'm, I'm it's too fancy. So the, of the people, we're talking about chains of the people. If yes. I take a date there, a very hypothetical date, what would the bill look like? It would not be cheap. Oh no, it would be hundred plus. Hundred plus, plus, yeah. Easy. Yeah, I'm out. Which easy. if you did, if you did that at Cheddar, you've ordered the menu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so one side of the bracket is complete. Chilies and Cheddar are in the final four. 